here with designer and author Kate Richberg. And Kate, you have clever ideas for soldering and making it really simple too. Well, that's my life. Simple soldering for sure. It's great. And we're talking about design challenges and problem solving today. And these are good tips for how to attach something that's domed to a flat surface. Right, because sometimes that can pose a problem. You know, if you're going to go ahead and solder a dome onto something flat, you always need to have a little hole to release the fumes as you solder, because if you don't, then that little dome is going to jump right off. Oh, okay. So it actually prevents it from adhering. Exactly. So how do you create the little pilot? So the little hole, we're going to use one of these little um, screw down hole punches, really, really simple. And what I like to do is I like to take my little tile here, my little sampler tile, and I like to give myself a little mark just so I know where my hole's going to be. Good once idea. I, yeah, once I, because it's easy to, you know, punch in the wrong place for sure. So after that little mark is there, I'm going to come in and line it up right here. And I'm just going to carefully screw down the little punch until it meets. And then I'm going to double check all of the angles just to make sure that it's in the place I want it to be. Okay. Now I'm just going to come in and twist the punch until I feel it break through the metal. And oh, there went your dot. There went my dot. And then I'm just going to back it right up. And there you can see I've got my little hole. And you can I'll save reserve, your dot. Yeah, save my dot for another project. Good idea. OK. So then after you have this set up, where do you go next? Well, we're going to create the dome, uh, the actual DAP um, piece there. And what I use, now you can use what you might have at home, a wooden dapping block, or you may have a metal dapping block. Either one will work. This uh, wooden one will give it a slightly more of a shallow curve. But all you do is you take your little blank, you place it in the well of the dapping block, and we would just go ahead and tap it really lightly. With a wooden dapping block, you want to use a, a plastic or a rawhide mallet. And you just give it some a few little taps, and that's going to give you your nice little curve. And you can see I've done a little more of a shallow curve on this guy here. Oh yeah, and that looks really pretty too. Yeah. You made your own clasp. Yeah. Well, I like to of make my own clasp. You did. Yeah, totally. I love it. Now to solder this guy, what you want to do is we want to use uh, some paste solder, and we're going to apply our paste solder using our titanium solder pick. And you want to think about when you are applying your solder, think about it as like the little numbers on a clock. So if this was 12 o'clock, I'd go at 12, 6, 9, and 3, and then 1, 2, uh, 4, 5, and so on until you have got 12 little dots of solder right on there. Okay, now why do you do that rather than spreading it around the edge? Well, I think that it's easier to place little dots, number one, and I also don't want to put too much solder on this piece. So I find that when I just put little dots and uh, when I heat it, the solder all runs together and forms one unbroken line, and that prevents me from just putting way too much solder. It's easy to pack a lot of solder on here, but little dots, I think, in the form of a clock uh, helps me really control now, where I'm putting things. Now, if you were attaching these, if you were attaching, here you're going to show us how to attach the dome to a flat surface, but That's let's right. say you were putting two domes together to create a bead, for example. Right. Would you do the same thing with the solder? Well, what I would do is, yeah, I would place my solder on just like I'm doing here, on one side of the dome, and then I just place it in like a little uh, depression in my yeah. block, and then I put the other dome right, right on, on top, top of it. So okay. solder only needs to go on one side. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and place this right on, now that the solder is on, I'm gonna place it right on my tile, my sampler tile. Okay. And my soldering surface is a, a kiln brick. We're soldering on a little cookie sheet, which is our heat resistant surface. We want to make sure that we have a quenching bowl nearby because that's what our tile is going to go into. Okay. Of course, we're going to be wearing our safety glasses. safety glasses, our glasses. And we want to make sure that we're working in a well ventilated area, of course, and have a, a fire extinguisher nearby because you never, you never, you know. never know. Better safe than sorry. Right. And then here's my butane microtorch. So I'm just going to pop this guy on. And 
I'm gonna come on down and slowly start to heat the piece. If I bring my flame down too close or too fast right onto the tile, my little dome is gonna jump. So I just wanna heat it gradually and you're gonna see that happen right now. And you can tell by the color turning a little bit on the tile. Exactly, as well as with the paste solder, you might see a little bit of smoke, which is the binder, see that right there? Yep. It's the binder of the solder kind of burning away, maybe a little bit of flame, but that's no big deal. You just keep holding on all the way through. And at this point, if you hadn't drilled that little hole, this dome would be jumping off right about now. But you wanna look at, see how evenly and thoroughly I'm heating the tile, and you can see that little rim of solder how that's flowed, it's molten, and now it's flowed all the way around the base of my dome, my little dapped dome, and you're looking at that little line there. And once that solder has flowed, because I moved the torch all the way around, the solder follows the heat of that flame, so it gets that nice unbroken line. All right, well you made it look really easy. Well, thanks for having me. <laughs> I, I enjoy making it look of easy course. for you. So then you're going to punch it and you're ready. Let's take a look at the tile here that you finished. So mm -hmm. you have one that's face down like you just showed us mm -hmm. and one that's faced up. Exactly. And All it's right. just a good practice for, uh, you know, sorting different types of domes. Of course, you could use this a lot of different yeah. ways. So thank you exactly. so much, Kate. Oh, it's my pleasure. I'll be right back with the jewelry making workshop.